What's good YouTube, it's Anthony back at it with another video. And in today's video, we have some more heat with the Nike Vapor Waffle Sakai in the black and gum colorway. I ended up picking up this pair last week for retail and I'm super excited to show you guys what it's about. This is a size eight men's, which is a 9.5 women's. And the retail for this sneaker was $180. I paid about $190 and some change after my tax and everything. But uh, yeah, super cool box for the Sakai. She got this nice orange box with that glare, shiny glare, and that Nike kind of cuts off with the sign and everything. And then this is a pull-up box with a hole and then a little flap right here to pull out the sneaker. Kind of slimmer to a Yeezy box and everything. But uh, I got more of that Nike on the side here and then wrap around to the other side as well. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing this pair right here. Run over everything you need to know about this pair right here. Quality, sizing, material, ins and outs, the details, all you need to know about this pair, along with resale predictions. Is this a is this like a profitable pair in the long run? Where it is right now on like StockX and GOAT for the market and everything. And just everything you need to know about the sneaker and much more. So before how to video, my name is Anthony Watillo and I post shoe unboxings, reviews, how to cops, everything you need to know about your latest and greatest sneakers. Comment up, subscribe, and I got you guys. So stay or just getting onto the sneaker and everything. This is the first time I've actually opened the box. I literally just received it today from Nike Sneakers. Here is the tissue paper with a black and white nice lettering on top. And then you got nice two layers of wrapping paper. So just a nice one with the words and then a plain one. Hoo hoo, these are, these are crazy. We got black additional laces and then the other, wow, these are, this is intense. This is super sweet. Okay, so shutting the box and everything. Wow, here we have the sneaker guys in hand. First look and first impression. There is a lot going on with this pair of Sakai's. And I know for like other Sakai's and this one in general, it's like you're seeing double literally with the tongue and everything, the midsole, the top, the laces, everything is kind of like doubled. And this pair is super light, even though it's kind of like a lot going on and just a lot of different materials and everything. By looking at it from afar and stuff, it does look super comfy. And I'm really loving this all black kind of colorway with the awesome gum bottoms to top it off super high tread super like tall and stuff i love shoes that have nice tread on the bottom just nice grip and everything with traction so getting on to the top of the shoe guys you got this nice kind of mesh around the toe box in that nice black kind of like a lighter black as well versus the nice suede around that mud guard wrapped around to the like the bottom right here and that more of that mesh around the nike swoosh shine from the outside along to the inside with your nike swoosh in this nice leather so there's a lot of materials on this pair right here from suede to mesh to leather and it really is nicely blended with a nice black and everything and even around you kind of have this like plastic little like circle around like between like the laces and stuff with the nice suede and like the mesh that kind of just separates it and there's just like a lot of different like shades and stuff of that nice black and everything that really does a nice job of that separation throughout the back Going on to the back, you got the Nike Sakai with your pull tab. Super sweet. The pull tab is nice, fits your finger pretty well. And for this sneaker and stuff, it is kind of tight with the two tongues and everything. So it's definitely going to be crucial to be using that. Um, the pull tongue or the pull tab I'll also like untying the laces pretty well because this pair actually does come with two laces and then like two different. You got like a more of a ropey one, kind of like a tissue, like kind of looks like a tissue paper and then more of your like round laces as well. So you can swap it out and everything. But you can see even as tied up and stuff, there's four different lace like ends and stuff. So that means four or two full laces, everything. The two tongues is just absolutely crazy. This is a sweet design by Sakai and Nike. And they've pushed a lot of nice Sakai colorways, the vapor waffles, and then the other like waffles, I believe. There's like a couple of different styles and a bunch of colorways. And this pair, the black pair, also released on Nike sneakers with a white pair. Unfortunately, I was not able to pick up the white pair. All the difference was was just the black was white. I think the other white pair as well had the nice traction with the gum bottoms. Gum bottoms are just just different, you know. They don't. It's not on every shoe. It's not really common as well. I think it really definitely highlights the top and the majority of the sneaker with the nice black and stuff, and it's super well of dividing it. And to the midsole and everything, you got like two or three midsoles kind of 
you first start out with you know like gum bottom of the outer sole then you move up here into this nice kind of like foam and rubber and then wrapping around to that bag and everything you kind of have this like divider part kind of looks like a like a mouth to an animal or something in the back but right there it's kind of like a foam and um it, it's gonna get creased no matter what this midsole and everything just with like the foam and kind of like that cushion you can see with my finger and everything it's super squishy it's going to crease as you walk and everything but one tip i can give you guys is a hot like blow dryer or a like um just like a hot like steam gun or stuff you put it on it like very softly you know and it just disappears the creases they disappear and it looks brand new so maybe down the road if you do end up deciding to rock this pair and stuff and you want to clean them up in the down the road and stuff i would do that guys because it really does help out the shoe and everything and just even right now i didn't even wear the shoe i literally just got out of the box and you can kind of see some creases already but that's pretty much just going to be for every sneak and everything but again onto the back you got nice leather right here and then you got this nice little pocket with a hole and some more mesh behind onto the insole and stuff got this nice or, uh, nike sakai insole and this shoe really isn't that deep. It looks super tall and like bulky, which it is a kind of like a bulkier sneaker and everything. But it's for sure going to give you some height. Probably like two inches good and that extra height and stuff. So if you're worried about that, it's going to give you an extra lot of height. And the shoe does fit shoe to size. So get your normal size when you're picking up the sneaker. Along with many other Nike shoes in general, they tend to fit pretty close to true to size and everything. And then um, of course, if you are a more of a narrow foot, size down half a size and if you have a wider of a foot size up a half size just to be careful but you know the deal for that guys and then um your size tag is in a pretty unique spot for this sneaker it's on the bottom tag and it's kind of dipped dived in to the back and everything size eight your information right there and everything and uh yeah you got this nice uh nike sportswear on the bottom tag and then like a nike was that sakai on the top super sweet i like that orange little pop on top Again, just like a black sneaker with the gum bottoms. And again, I like the gum bottoms on the back. It's kind of like more rigid with these nice horizontal lines and stuff. Moving around to the nice like Nike sign right there. And then the classic tread on the toe. Super wide sneaker looking at down. It kind of looks like the Yeezy 500s. Just the outer soles and just the overall build is pretty wide. More of the nice traction on that toe box. And just this is kind of like a super aggressive sneaker. And um, this is, is it, it's going to hold up, you know, there's nice materials, nice quality, and the outer soles are just amazing. So this is a super sweet shoe, and I really do love this black colorway. I do like my black sneakers and stuff because they match everything generally. And uh, right now on the sneaker, like on StockX and GOAT for reference, this pair is definitely flipping right around that 350 and upwards point, depending on the size. Your small sizes for this sneaker are a little bit higher, which I'm pretty fortunate of this size 8. A little bit higher than like your size 10, 11, which is kind of uncommon depending on the shoe and everything. That's all varies depending on the shoe and the demand and everything, the supply. You know the deal for that. But the smaller sizes for this sneaker are a little bit higher. I can sell it right now and make about 150 bucks profit, which I may or may not do. Otherwise, I'm going to hold it, you know. And you know, looking back at like past colorways and like previous release colorways, your smaller sizes have gone up tremendously along with your big sizes. And especially this being a black colorway, I feel like it's going to do pretty well. And I could easily see the sneaker at least like four or 500 bucks within like the year and stuff. As you can see, like the StockX charts at the bottom of the sneaker for past colorways. Again, you can see this chart climb pretty quick and stuff. And also summer's coming up. A lot of people are going to be wearing their nice sneakers, going hiking. I could see a lot of people wearing like this shoe in nice like hiking weather and just trails on like whereabouts and everything. So let me know in the comments, guys, is this a cop or a drop? I really like this shoe in general. I just don't know if I could pull it off personally, depending on my foot size and everything. Super sweet concept and everything with the Nike and the Sakai. I'm pretty happy I pitted, pick up this pair, excuse me, on um, Nike sneakers for retail. I've done that in the past for a few other colorways, but nothing like this vapor waffle. So thank you all so much for watching. My name is Anthony Watillo. I post your shoes every single day, guys. Videos every single day in the afternoon or evening after I get out of school. Keeping you up with the latest and greatest heat, guys. We have some heat coming in later this week. We got Jordan 1 Rebellion's early pair coming either tomorrow or Friday as well, along with some other heat, guys. It's just crazy. So thank you all so much for watching. My name is Anthony Till, and I'm out. I'll see you guys tomorrow with more heat. Peace.